Hello, and welcome to the new vlog. Um, today's puzzle uh, is an interesting mix, actually. Um, I was had all but a handful of answers filled in in about seven minutes, and then spent the next um, four or five minutes trying to solve any of the last uh, those last answers. Um, I wasn't familiar with the city in southern Uzbekistan uh, and that didn't help and I wasn't familiar with the compound I put one down so I had to use the techniques we discussed yesterday uh, in terms of you know forcing the wordplay to give me a handle on some of the letters that might be uh, that might fill those unchecked spaces. Eventually though I managed to get it out and that's, that's good I suppose and today uh, you should see by the way you should see the salt in, in, in the bottom left hand corner of the video um, today we're going to just cover, I think, um, three bits of crossword ease that we haven't covered yet, which, which did appear in this puzzle. So let's start by having a look at 20 across. So the clue, most of capital knight, or most of capital knight put together for monument. Um, so the, the, the bit of crossword ease in that clue is, is the word knight. Um, and this is being used... Uh, as a chess reference, so you do need to become familiar with the abbreviations used in chess notation. So N is often uh, used for knight, and that of course helps with this clue because you've got, uh, I, I knew I was looking for a, a shortened capital city, it's Cairo in this case, um, but, the, but the N at the end was was quite helpful actually in terms of uh, you know I am familiar with Cairn as a monument so it, that that clue was was relatively accessible um, but the other chess uh, pieces too so you've got obviously uh, pawn bishop rook uh, king queen uh, and you know each abbreviation is fairly obvious um, bishop is the only other one I, I'll mention again because bishop all can can you can see the abbreviation RR used for bishop in crosswords? I think that's for white reverend. Um, so again, bishop could be B or RR, um, but the others I think are all fairly self-explanatory. Um, next, which was the next clue I wanted to look at, eight down. Um, so here we have another bit of crosswordies. So we've got complete set of books written in the country. Um, and here you've got a set of books being used in the clue. And if you see a set of books, um, you can be fairly confident you're looking at either the New Testament or the Old Testament. Um, so NT or OT are the abbreviations you'll see there. Um, here it was NT, um, uh, and you, know, you can see that we've got the air written around the edge. And entire being the answer. So again, that's a tip for you. A set of books, um, that's what we need to look at. And finally, let's have a quick look at 25 across. Um, so second French article whose content is inferior a bit. Um, here we have French article. Now this this is absolutely classic crossword ease. They're not referring to some, you know, article of furniture, uh, or French article of furniture. That they're, they're using article in its sort of uh, linguistic sense, an article of speech. So um, uh, that that could be the or a. Uh, sometimes they'll use definite article or indefinite article. Uh, and in French, the is le or la or le, I suppose. Um, so, if you see French article, that's what you need to look at. If you see German article, it's just it's just the same. Ein, einer, der, die, or das. Um, I haven't seen any other languages used. I'm thinking about that. To see whether that's that's true. I may be missing a, an example that, that has come up in a crossword before. But I think if you're familiar with the French and German. Uh, definite and indefinite articles, you'll you'll be fine. Um, but this clue, obviously, a bit at the end is uh, it, 
it's not referring to a piece of something, it's referring to um, you know, part of what you use to control the horse. <laughs> yeah. um, so bit in that sense. So a nice bit of misdirection from the setter there. Um, okay, I hope this is helpful. And um, please, please remember to leave feedback if you have any. Uh, it's really, really useful to us to know how you're um, enjoying the videos. And we'll see you again tomorrow.